Hi, I'm Stephen Dunn, and this is a project I made using a program called Processing. I've been working on it since the summer of 2019. I call it the Image Melder. Essentially, it takes the pixels of one image and uses them to construct another image. It does this in four different phases. First, it scans the image, finding pixels from the first image that most closely resemble pixels in the second one. Then it chooses a random transition from a list and generates frames between the first image and the second. The progress of these two stages is represented by the white border that encircles the screen. Next, it plays back the frames to create the animation. You can watch each individual pixel move from its starting position to its ending position, at least if YouTube's bitrate is kind to this video. Finally, it smoothly blends between the assembled image and the true image it was trying to recreate, while also setting up for the next cycle. In most cases, this can be seen as an overall shift in color or increase in saturation. I'm extremely proud of the progress I've made on this project. It's been through dozens of iterations, and there were many challenges I had to solve along the way, along with even more optimizations. With just over 2 million pixels to animate for a 1920 by 1080 screen, I quickly learned that every improvement helps. Originally, the program took literal hours to render out a single transition animation between two 1080p images. But now, it takes less than 20 seconds to fully analyze and render a transition of the same resolution. Talking about the performance gain more specifically, the first major improvement came from the realization that the program doesn't need to find the perfect fit for every single pixel, merely a pretty good fit. Human eyes usually won't notice a difference. So instead of looking at the entire first image for every pixel of the second, the program just looks at a random selection of pixels from the first. This changed the time complexity from O of n squared to just O of n. The second major improvement came from multi-threading. By splitting up the analysis and the frame generation into different threads, the program sped up significantly. The third major improvement came from learning about branch prediction. Each pixel in the end image was looking at start pixels at basically random causing the process's instruction pipeline to halt very often. The solution was to randomly shuffle the entire starting image once at the beginning and remember the original position of every pixel so that it could all be read through sequentially. My future plans for this project are to continue to improve the performance and to add more transition animations. Eventually, I would like to submit it to a platform called Wallpaper Engine so that it could be run as a desktop background of any user who downloads it. As always, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.